The name of your tree is a buckeye tree. Feel the bark of the buckeye. It's smooth. It's not rough like other trees. And Amy, look up at the tree. How many leaves on the stem do you see? Oh, five, just like your hand. Amy, Amy, take your three fingers and spread them out and pull them together. Then just put a dot for a back toe. Now with your first finger, pad in the earth between the big toes for webs. And that's Mr. Seagull's feet. Everybody feel your ears. What are they for? Hear. Everybody feel your eyes. What are they for? See. Everybody feel your nose. What's that for? Smell. Everybody do this. Now what are we doing? Tasting. Now everybody do this. What are we doing? Seeing. Oh. Hello, Amy. <laughs> she popped right in. She popped right in. <laughs> everybody look up. Because when we go for a walk, we look up to see what's there. And then we look around. Everybody look around. And then we look down to see who came by in the night. Amy, look what's on the rock. A banana slug. Did you ever hold one in your hand? No. Let's pick it up very gently because they're pretty squishy. And hold your hand flat. They're kind of slimy. Touch it gently with your other finger and feel it. Look at the stripes on it. What does it feel like? Like, um, it's mushy and mushy. Do you know what he's going to have for lunch? No. He likes mushrooms. And he helps eat up all the leaves and grasses that fall on the ground. <laughs> They live on and on. Really, they're older than our fathers, our grandfathers, our great-grandfathers. They were here before anybody ever came to this country. A long time ago, some people came through and said, let's cut these down. Look how many houses we can build. But other people came through and they said, no, they are so beautiful. Let us save them. If you touch that poison oak, do you get poison oak? Yes. And then he touches you, you know what? He will be giving you poison oak. So don't anybody touch it so that nobody gets it, all right? All right, let's wave to poison oak. Hi, poison oak. Hi, poison oak. Stay right there. Stay right there. Everybody hold up five fingers. Because when we go for a walk, remember five things that are poisonous. So we've already talked about poison oak. Now everybody hold a finger like this. Everybody paint your finger green. Put red spots on it. Give it a flat white blossom. Now give it a lacy and leaf like a carrot. And then poison it. That's right. Now pick that leaf, squish it, and smell it. Oh, oh it smells yeah. terrible. This is poison hemlock. And because it smells so bad, that's Mother Nature's way of telling you to leave it alone. Now everybody hold your hand like this and your finger like this. That's poisonous. What's it going to be? Toadstool. Are we going to eat any mushroom that we find? No. Oh, no. Everybody make a triangle like this. All right, put your triangle on your tummy like this. 
Now swing your triangle up like this. Now paint your triangles red. Paint your bodies all black and give you eight legs. And you live under a rock or under a log. Who are you going to be? Black widow. Black widow. Black widow spider. Now hold your finger like this. Now feel your finger that it goes in a little bit at the first knuckle. Now let your little finger stick out like this. And pretend that's a pencil point. When you go for a walk in California and you find a snake whose head is like your finger and whose tail is like a pencil point, you can pick him up. Hey, you guys, we found a snake, a baby garden snake. Ah, uh, hello there. I'm sorry I found you. You didn't want to be caught, did you? <laughs> but wait a minute, everybody feel your jaw. If you go for a walk and you find a snake with a jaw like yours and rattles on the end, who's he going to be? Mrs. Are you going to pick him up? No. Here is Mr. Fireweed, and Mr. Fireweed has fuzz on him. Well, what are we blowing? See, Look at those see. white teeth in there. Yes, this is Mother Nature's parachute. Look yes, at our parachute. parachute. Look, Ooh. there they go, way up high. And you know what? The birds say we're going to use this to build our nests with. Blow again. <laughs> and blow hard, and way up high. Look up high, there they go. Let's see what else we can find. I like looking at trees, the smell of the sea, the sound of songbirds singing. Say hello, Mr. Sun, I'm a having fun, outside happy and free. Take a walk any Saturday, let your senses show you, touch and smell and hear and taste, take a look, see what's around. It's a cool summer day, so dream away, all that may confine you. Look around you and say, I'm on my way, outside happy, I'm outside happy, we're outside happy and free. A minute and see if anybody's flying by. Let's call Mr. Turkey Vulture. Mr. Turkey Mr. Vulture. Turkey Vulture. When it rains, all the droplets come on the leaves and down the stems and down the hills and form the stream. And then the stream flows down, 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 right to the ocean. Look what's on the rock. What do you suppose this is? Starfish. Now feel Mr. Starfish. Is he smooth or rough? Rough. Oh, look. What's he having for lunch? A mussel. You know who has Mr. Starfish for lunch? Mr. Seagull. Could we eat Mr. Starfish? No. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Mr. Pelican flies by every year and he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ho! And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ho! Now when it's a heavy wind, he balances like this. And he balances like this and then he glides down low. And then he comes up and then he has to balance again and balance again. See the neck on this? This is why it's called a gooseneck barnacle. 
You can't do that to Mr. Rock Barnacle. He stays tight on the rock. Feel this little know. soft thing. Hey, because there's so much in the sea. It's an anemone. It's an anemone. You think it's an anemone? Yeah, yeah. that's what it must be because it's green and it's squishy, what? but all the rocks are off it. But it's pretty tough. When you go down to the beach, you find all kinds of seaweed. Some of them you can taste. Some of them you can feel, and it feels like felt. Some of them have little air bubbles on them, and you can pop them. Some of them feel like leather or like plastic. And some of them are so long that you could even jump rope with them. Look how long this is. You do not two little jumps, so one. Two little jumps, so one. Two back for us. My butterfly comes down here to Muir Beach and spends the winter in these pine trees. At night when it's cold they all cling together with their wings folded so they look like dried up leaves hanging there. In the morning when the sun comes out they open up their wings and you get to see the orange and black color and right away you can recognize it as our monarch butterfly. <laughs> It's a cool summer day, so dream away All that may confine you Look around you and say I'm on my way Outside happy, I'm outside happy We're outside happy and free 